Perhaps the most interesting thing that Far Cry New Dawn has to offer isn't the new post-apocalyptic aesthetic or even continuing the story of that charismatic cult leader Joseph Seed. It is The Judge. I'm Andy Burkowski and I want to talk about Ubisoft's big, bold move in creating this character. Only Now to help speed things up, in case you didn't already know, in the canonical ending of Far Cry 5, cult leader Joseph Seed captures the protagonist Rook or Depp, depending on your flavor, brings him to a fallout shelter, kills most of your compatriots, and welcomes you into his new family. Mostly because we spent the last 25 hours literally killing all of his family, which also, in his mind, broke the seals of a religious prophecy that was indicative of the apocalypse which is now taking place. So we were very central in the creation of this new reality. If you jump now to Far Cry New Dawn, 17 years later, Joseph's cult has shifted into a nomadic, tribalist group that eschews technology as they wait for more prophetic words from their messiah. Midway through the game, we, as a completely new character, head to that very bunker where Joseph and Rook were seemingly trapped for several years with very little supplies and only each other. Judging by the notes we find written by Rook in the bunker, things didn't go well. You know, you know best. God tells you, if I listen to you, it's good and right and I can help and I can save people and make it right everything will be okay. If I judge as your judge, the judgment is right and just. The judgment is God's word. I see now. I am so sorry. Please give me a mask. I am afraid. No one can know me. Please let me be reborn like the world cleansed of sin and new, and I will fight to cleanse the sin. Thank you, Joseph. Thank you, Father. This paints a picture of Joseph using survivor's guilt and intermittent fasting to break the mind of our previous hero. It's very similar to what Jacob attempted to do, manipulate Rook with auditory conditioning, playing that song that we all know and love. Now, there's no proof of that method exactly being used here, but one can argue that when a mind has already been broken, there are certain buttons you can push. Now, back to the story right now, eventually... The judge, as they are known, is bestowed to us from Joseph as a gun for hire. Despite in the original game of having the option between picking between male and female, the character model for the judge seems to be male, but they are using they, them pronouns in any written or dialogue references. Take from that what you will. This, though, is where things get very interesting. The judge doesn't speak beyond grunts and wheezing, yet they are referenced and even remembered by characters from Far Cry 5. Carmina thanking the judge for helping her to be delivered, Jerome with his emotional plea for their soul, and even Herc with some pretty good fourth wall breaking goodness. Let's just, let's listen to a few of those. She's changed since uh, we last saw each other. Yeah, well, I'm a daddy now. Yeah, I got a little boy named Blade. And what about you, man? You're, uh... What are you, some sort of death monster now, or...? Sorry, I, I'm real nervous around you. Still the silent type, eh? Hey? hey? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, homie, uh... I'm gonna crack on, then. The question I have is whether or not this decision to take a character that we knew, that represented our choices, the hours that we've played, and destroy them, break them down again, if that choice was a good one. The judge in Far Cry New Dawn is in pain, suffering from the weight of the choices that we made while still remaining silent, a slave to a new master. Even as the game ends and Joseph Seed lies dead, Nothing changes for the judge. They're still grunting and they're still captured in his grasp. I believe that the judge and the choices that went into their creation represents the themes and tone of Far Cry 5 being brought into the new world of Far Cry New Dawn. 
Far Cry 5 was an extreme story of the inevitability of destruction. It struck a nerve in its nihilistic outlook. No matter what you did, the world was either destroyed in an apocalyptic nuclear heyday, or all of the friends you've made were newly enslaved and you likely killed all of your friends as you were enslaved. The judge carries the price that we pay for that nihilism. The destruction but now brought into Far Cry New Dawn. The worst has already happened. Our new reality is almost laughable. It's filled with the same extreme violence and despair, but with a tragic, almost maddening comedy that would come with that. We saw glimpses of that in Far Cry 5, but Far Cry New Dawn seems to dive head first. This is how they complete the story, I believe. Finish the circle that they started in Far Cry 5. I think there's a way this could have been more effectively told. Perhaps instead of playing as the captain, a newcomer to this world, we could have continued our story as the judge facing this new reality that mixes this insane and the profane. But I don't think, and this may upset some people that have come to love our characters, I don't think the judge should ever be redeemed. I think it cheapens the impact of the story of the previous game and what it was trying to say. The judge needs to suffer to tell this sort of story. A story that has a lot of problems, but if you squint, might actually be a little bit brilliant. I'm Andy Burkowski for VGS. If you vehemently disagree, think this is bullshit, please tell me, I wanna hear from you.